Hello, I'm Father Joe Gambala, pastor of St. Malachi Catholic Church in Sterling Heights. Welcome to Saints of the Summer. Today is August 2nd, and our saint today is Pope Stephen I. Now, Pope Stephen lived in the mid-200s, and at that time, the Roman emperor was a man named Decius. Decius was a very greedy man who wanted to get as much money as he could because he had plans to raise an army and march on Persia. Well, in the course of arresting Christians, figuring that their legal standing was very weak and that he could shake them down for the money, uh, many Christians were willing to pay the fine or in order to escape the fine, were willing to uh, offer up their faith and renounce it and, and go to a te temple, pay, uh, temple and pagan temple and throw some incense in, in front of one of the statues or something like that to avoid persecution and avoid confiscation of their property. While other Christians would have none of that and went to, into slavery or went um, to their deaths as martyrs. When the persecution ended, uh, many of these Christians who had uh, fled or who had sacrificed it to the pagan temples and, and, and at least had made an appearance of, of giving up their faith, wanted to come back. So what was going to happen here? Well, one must understand that the church at this time does not have their separate church buildings. You're meeting in people's homes. So imagine if you're one of the houses where Mass is celebrated, and in your family, you lost a loved one who was arrested as a Christian, did not renounce the faith, and was martyred, or was sold away as a slave. And now here comes your neighbor who had given up his faith, threw incense at the, uh, in front of the pagan god, and now wants to come back. How willing are you gonna let them come back? This is a problem. It's a very big problem. And Pope Stephen I had to deal with this, and it was a very difficult matter. First, he said that these people who want to come back do not have to be rebaptized. That a baptism is not, cannot, you cannot lose your baptism by what you say and do after you're baptized. The sacrament is the sacrament, the original sin is erased, and God is present. Now, you may live a life that ignores that presence, but that presence is there. And from there, uh, Pope C Stephen I and following popes developed a system which evolved into what we know today as the sacrament of reconciliation, so that people who have fallen can come back. Their baptism is intact, but through the sacrament of reconciliation, their sins are forgiven.